Most of the videos we posted so far are about rhythmic patterns, but Swarshala is also an excellent tool for entering melodic sequences and compositions. We hope this video will help you better understand the different features you have in the software to create great sounding melodic patterns. Before you go through it though, we strongly suggest you view the video called Advanced Swarshala Instruments, Basses and Patches because that gives a high level insight on the notion of instruments and basses. As explained in that video, basses include the instrument specificities along with the folder structure and the sequences they contain. This is no different with melodic basses, except that you can have more than one bass per instrument, each for a specific raga. That's what we call a raga bass, in that you only have the notes and melodies that pertain to the specific raga. Before we go deeper into that, let me explain how the melodic basses are stored. If you look into the basses folder of Swarshala, you'll see the whole lot of them. Here is a chart describing how they relate. As you can see, there are different types of basses, each with a specific structure that emulates one or more instruments. For instance, the strings basses have four main strings, one chikari string and sympathetic strings. They are therefore the ones that are available for sitar, sarod and surbahar. The general type, on the other hand, only has a single main part. It is the default bass for instruments like basuri or sarangi. The all bass is always the default. It contains all notes and therefore melodies that are not specifically set to a raga. You can then add raga basses and they will be automatically named by the combination of the bass type and the raga name, like strings durga.ssb or harmonium tori.ssb. We'll now see how to do that. So we're going to start with the harmonium first. In that we'll add a new raga, let's say Bhairavi, that is not yet there. So we go in components, raga new. And there we can type the details of the raga, the name first Bhairavi. The Tat we set to Bhairavi. The Jati is uh, Sampurna Sampurna, means all seven notes are there. Vadi, this is arguable, uh, not absolutely agreed by everyone, but we'll set to Ma and Sa. Time of the day, it is a uh, early morning Raga, let's say dawn. The moods, that's also something that can be discussed, but uh, we can put Shringar and uh, these others, Vir. So now the properties, we set the notes of the Raga. So it's Re Komal, Ga Komal, Ma, Pa, Da Komal, Ni Komal. We set for the ascending and descending Ragas, both. Okay, and there we see that we have a new folder called Bhairavi on the tree view on the left. When we open it, we can see that it created different alankars automatically and a set of notes that are available for this specific raga. If we double click one, we can see the note properties, which is like a template. So we have the details as a ma. And then we see that we have a choice of other notes and also other fingers. As we are on a harmonium instrument, we have the possibility of playing chords. So in that way we can select different fingers for the, for the note to be played. We can select emphasis, octave of the, of the note. See another one here. So just note that only the music notes that are belonging to the raga are created there. Here we open one alankar which is automatically created. Thank you. 
All right, so now what we'll do is to go and define some styles. So we do file, define styles. We see that Alankar is already there. We'll add Lehra. We'll add Bandish. And very important, we add practice cycle, which will allow us to add the Lehra in the practice pane. So now we are going to create a folder, we'll call it like loops, and then a subfolder to that, which we create name as cycles. And then another subfolder. This time we name it as Lehra in 16 bits number one. Now we can insert our sequence. So we have different fields. We can enter the name, just name it number one. Any description we feel like. A Garana, you can type a name of a Garana if it's related. Composer, you can type again the name of a composer. Here we can select the styles that are applicable. So we'll select Lehra, Bandish, and Practice Cycle. Reporter, the one who entered the sequence in the software. Cycle, the rhythmic cycle on which the melody is based. In this case, Tintal. We'll leave at 16 beats, wrap at eight, and we'll leave the tempo range as such. Okay, so now we have our empty sequence of 16 beats. We'll have to enter the strokes, the notes into it. So we can do this by either dragging and dropping the, the note, in this case a pa. But in much simpler way, we can just double click the cell and then type the note name. The little minus means komal, little plus means tiura, and some point before or after means the higher or lower octave. There we are. So now we can try to play this uh, letter. Okay, so now we are going to try to customize it a bit for harmonium. We go to the first cell, we select the properties, and instead of having a single par played, we are going to add one additional note, another par, but played on a different finger so that both play together. And we'll set that to the higher octave. Let's see, okay. Now if we go on it, we can see the tooltip shows the two notes. Ah, here we have a problem because the other pa, the higher pa, remains playing. So we need to stop it. So we go to the note where we want it to stop. And here we have to add it again. The same one, so on the same finger, higher octave. And in the style here, we enter mute. And you press OK. So that was better, the sound stopped where it had to. Now before going any further, we go into File, Save Base, so that our changes are saved. Now we can see that in the file open base, we will see that the software has created our new Bairavi base as 
harmoniumbyrevi.ssb. We can copy the name and then we want it to load every time we start Swarshala so we go in the preferences, data files and we need to add it at the end of the list so that it will be auto loaded but we can of course always load it manually through the file open base now as we have made sure to select the practice cycle and to respect the loops cycles folder structure we should be able to see our new melody into the practice pane so we can go here and we see Bhairavi and we see it's our Lera in 16 bits number one Alright, so that was for the harmonium bass. Now we would like to create something similar for Sarod. So we first select the Sarod instrument. And then we do the same steps. The Raga New. With a Bhairavi. We can ignore these fields for the moment. Select the notes. Okay. Now we see it has created also the templates for all the notes and the alankars. We can double click one. We see that in this case the pa is on the main pa. But for this instrument, we have Chikari, then we have string 2, string 3, string 4, and sympathetic strings. So we are really emulating the structure of a sarod. If we select the Chikari, then we can see that it is set to the Chikari Sa. All right, so now we will go back to our harmonium folder. We can select it and copy. Then we can move back to the Sarod instrument and there we paste it and there the whole folder and sequence will be pasted for Sarod first of all we need to remove the extra note we had added here and there okay all right so now we'll customize it for sarod here we'll put chikari strings Sarod, but what we need to add now is a little mind, a little um, pitch shifting. So we click on mind here, and here we have the mind panel. You can define the way the note will slide, so by default it selects so the notes to bend up or down. You can select a template here, which was saved before, 
so the different styles of bending you can move yourself the points or create new points to create the exact curve you want you can even save it so that you can reuse it and here we specify if we want to play the next note or not in this case we don't want so that's better what we'll do is we slide a bit this note there That's better, that sounds more like Sarod. Now one interesting feature is also that we can comment the, the cells, the strokes, so for example we can put a little comment here. And we can also define the plucking style, da, ora, odere, in the case of uh, Chikari it would be a chick so in that way we can provide all the details required for someone else to play the same sequence and we see it appearing on the tooltips See there on the tooltips. So now, as we have seen, uh, uh, the strings bass is also shared by other instruments like sitar or surbahar. So if we change the instrument to sitar, we see the sequence is also there. It will play with sitar sounds. Now we select another bass for basuri. Let's take an existing sequence. Here we can see that we are using the volume envelope feature so in that you can specify the volume change while the sequence is playing If we change to another instrument like sarangi, the same sequence can be played with the sarangi voice. Now we can see for the santur instrument Select an existing sequence. On the Centur, what is important is that the notes that are played should not be stopped immediately by the note directly following. So that's why we have different strings available and we can alternate these strings so that the notes 
continue echoing in a more realistic way. So I hope this presentation was helpful. Should you still have any questions, feel free to contact us at support at swarsystems.com. Thanks for your time.